little chilly, not gonna lie. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with your boy Thick Whips. Today we are talking about the car, the current tune that I have on it, the plans. If you are one of the people that has an A90 or A91 Supra and you need to get your car bench unlocked, your DME bench unlocked, in order to tune it, you should listen up. Listen up to this video because I have some, some advice for you guys. Um, this is all just stuff that I've learned because my car was locked and I had to get it bench unlocked in order to tune with boot mode. I really just wanna bring you guys up to speed and kinda of tell you where I'm at with tuning and the future and why I'm deciding what I'm deciding and hopefully it'll bring some value to you. Also, go pack go. <laughs> all right, so as you guys know, I have a 2020 Super here that I have tuned with Pro Tuning Freaks um, boot mode. Stage two, you may or may not have heard in a few videos me talking about the fact that these tunes, I feel like they're not really up to par with what they should be on the B58 Supra. Um, I was getting a lot of throttle closures, a lot of surging during just normal daily driving. On the dyno, it made great results. Um, it feels really good under heavy load. But once you just try to like daily drive the car around town, there's all of this bucking really it's terrible. The tune is just not where it needs to be. Anytime a tuning company is releasing an OTS map, in my opinion, the tune should be based around someone who daily drives the car but is looking for more power. Uh, it felt like this tune was kind of the other way around. It delivered great power, but it was almost undrivable for daily driving circumstances. So where we're at right now, I reached out to Pro Tuning Freaks and I let them know, you know, hey, this is what's going on. Um, we spent like a month going back and forth and data logging this car probably 15, 20 times. Different data logs, different maps, different flashings. We finally got to a place where we have a tune, a map that is like an OTS map from Pro Tuning Freaks, from boot mode, that is good. That is good for daily driving. It feels good. There's no bucking, there's no surging. From what I understand, Pro Tuning Freaks will be using the map that we've made on this car, that we've data logged with this car. They will be using that map and rolling out a series of updates for the B58 on the Supra. So when you go and buy like the bundle for the B58 Supra, you will be actually using the map that I have on my car. Now I can't really tell you when that's going to happen because I don't have that information, but they did iron out most of the issues that I had with this OTS map. For me in particular, none of this really matters right now because we are putting on the meth kit next weekend and I'll have to have a custom tune. Now this is where some of the insight comes into play. As you guys know, I had to have this car bench unlocked for Pro Tuning Freaks for boot mode in order to flash tune my car. It is important to remember, if you are going to be bench unlocking your car, make sure you know which tuning platform you want to go with. Do your research. Every tuning platform has its advantages and disadvantages. Some people prefer to have like the fastest car. They wanna make really fast quarter mile times. Some people just prefer to have a really clean driving car with good power. There are a lot of different tuners out there. Everyone's gonna tell you that their tuner is the best and everyone's gonna explain to you why they think their tuner is the best. Make sure you do your research and go with the tuning company or the tuner that you see most fit for your circumstances and what you want to obtain out of your car. I cannot stress this enough because you are gonna get Get fed a lot of stuff from a lot of people telling you that you should go with this tuner or this tuner. Honestly, the overwhelming amount of people that tell you to go with certain tuners is, is kind of silly because when it comes to tuning, it depends on your driving style. It depends on what you want to get out of the car. Some people say this is the best tuner, but best could mean a lot of different things to different people. For me in particular, I'm not looking to have a really fast quarter mile lap time car. That's not really what I'm trying to do with this car. I want a really good daily driver that delivers fast power reliably. That's what I want out of my tune. I'm not trying to just take this car to the track and beat the living shit out of it and make eight, eight second quarter mile passes. Like that's not my goal. Something that is important to remember is no matter how fast you are or how fast you think you are, there's always gonna be someone with more money that is faster than you. <laughs> so as you guys know, currently I'm on the Pro Tuning Freaks boot mode tune. Um, you guys may or may not have saw that I purchased the Ecutech tune from Speed Industry. Now, I first wanna say the guys at Speed Industry are awesome. They have fantastic products. Their service is top notch. Really, really good quality company to work with and I will work with them on future products. However, um, unfortunately, the Ecutech tune is not gonna work out for me and my circumstances on this car. Let me explain why. When you bench unlock your car, you need to make sure that you know which tuning company you wanna go with. 
Why I say that is because since this car is bench unlocked for pro tuning freaks, I cannot use an EcuTech tune on it. I would have to relock it, then re-bench unlock it for an EcuTech tune. We had basically one of two choices. Either I send out the DME to get it re-bench unlocked by someone who does the EcuTech uh, bench unlocking. Now this brings up a few concerns. When I did receive my EcuTech tune, it was around the holidays. So as you know, with shipping around the holidays, uh, yeah. Imagine shipping a DME around Christmas time. That's a terrible idea. Um, even if you do get your DME back or to the destination, no telling how long that's going to take. Now this is my only car, you guys. I only have this car. I tune this car. I, I modify this car. I daily drive this car. I cannot go without a car right now. I am getting a daily driver at some point, but right now this is my only car. So I can't be without this car. Not to mention this car is also my job. YouTube, making content. I need this car around. I cannot have the car down for four days, five days. Now, when I originally bought the EcuTech Tune, I was actually going out of town uh, to Orlando, Florida to make some videos, and I was gonna have the car down anyway, so I was gonna pull the DME and ship it out. Ultimately, I decided not to because it was around the holidays, and it just it just was a bad idea. Now, the next part of this, I'm, I'm not gonna say the name of the company, but there was a company that reached out that said that they could do a remote bench unlock. Essentially, they're gonna send me the stuff I needed to bench unlock it myself, and they would just like wirelessly come in on the computer and take care of things for me. I was gonna end up working with this company. Um, this is a company that I had never worked with before. And the reason I'm not gonna say the name is because I don't wanna make this video about shitting on other people's businesses. Ultimately, the relationship with that company and that service uh, is not gonna work out for me. Just the overall way that they conduct business is not something that I wanna associate with, and we're gonna leave it at that. So really my only options here are to, if I wanted to go with EcuTech, is to send out this DME and have it re-bench unlocked for EcuTech. The reason that I'm bringing this up is because if you guys have an A90 or an A91 Supra and you need to get a bench unlock, make sure you know which tuner or tune platform you want to go with before bench unlocking it for that tune because you will be ultimately not stuck, but it'll definitely create more headaches down the road if you wanna change up that tune. Now I've ran boot mode on all of my cars and I haven't had these kind of issues with the surging and the throttle closures at all. I have done multiple uh, custom tunes with Paul Johnson and Kerry Jordan. I felt like a lot of them were fantastic. Ultimately what is going to happen is after I install the meth kit next weekend, I am gonna have this car custom tuned so the OTS map deal doesn't really matter. I'm gonna have a custom tune for this car with the meth kit the way that it's set up. So while Pro Tuning Freaks in boot mode is updating the OTS maps, I think they will get to a place where these OTS maps are solid. I think that they need a little bit of work and I don't think they're there yet, but I do think in the near future, we will see some solid OTS maps for the B58 Supra. <sighs> The last thing that I want to talk about is uh, Pro Tuning Freaks in Boot Mode is rolling out uh, the rolling anti-lag features and the map switching on the fly as well as flex fuel. Those are all things that I'm going to be featuring on this channel with Pro Tuning Freaks in Boot Mode because that's just the company I've stuck with for so long. And we are going to be custom tuning this car under the Boot Mode platform. Now, which custom tuner am I going to use? I'm not gonna tell you guys that now. I'm gonna reveal that a little bit later. There are obviously a lot of people that you can work with, but I think that from my research and kind of talking to enough people, I've decided on the person that I want to have this car tuned by. And obviously I'm gonna make a ton of content on that and show you guys the before and after and all that good stuff. But really the main premise of this video, you guys, is I, I wanted to talk to you and just kind of like warn you because I know a lot of guys, especially the UA91 guys who have locked DMEs, Make sure you know which tuning company and tuner you want to go with prior to having your car bench unlocked. For me personally, you know, I'm in this position where I wanted to change my, my tuner, I wanted to change up my tuning company, and it's not that I can't, but it's kind of a hassle. With me right now in my life, in this current situation, it doesn't make sense for me to send out my DME, so. It is possible that I could flash with MHD without having to bench unlock again. Um, I think MHD and Pro Tuning Freaks, they use like the, a similar unlock method. So I'd be okay if I wanted to switch to like MHD or Pro Tuning Freaks. And a lot of custom tuners, you'd be surprised, a lot of custom tuners can actually use boot mode or MHD to tune off of. Now there are a lot of reasons that specific tuners like having different platforms like EcuTech or Pro Tuning Freaks. But from the research I've done and the people that I've spoken to um, will be just fine either using Pro Tuning Freaks or boot mode with a custom tune on this car. All right, so that is, that's really it. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. Um, if you have any insight or you wanna drop anything down below, 
go for it. Uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of comments of people talking about what tuner they go with and why they're the best. And that's cool, that's totally fine. You guys have your opinions and, and roll with that. And obviously, you know, everyone has their own experience with different tuning companies and different tuners. And this is a great place to learn about that information and share your experiences down below. But of course, I just wanted to share mine with you guys. If you guys need to have your Supra Bench unlocked, make sure you know which tuner or tuning company you wanna go with. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, go pack, go. And just like that, this video is over and we're out. Peace.